Say hello to the project team, Lila. Hello, project team. And are we having a wonderful time here in Xanadu? Oh yes. Only there are not quite enough mosquitoes. Have we thought much about Ceres? Ceres? What's that? <laughs> See, folks, mission accomplished. Uh, not quite. I have another mission: to rid this world once and for all of Max's shorts. What's wrong with my shorts? <laughs> you gotta be kidding. Well, <laughs> I'm a scientist, damn it, not some model. Oh, I think we can all attest to that. <laughs> That's it. Cut. And have her desk cleared out by the time I get back. <laughs> May 14th, day one. The road in was so rough, I almost threw up. Now that I've had a chance to acclimate, I can't believe how beautiful it is. I think it must be the trees and all the oxygen. Makes me proud. I mean, if Ceres keeps to her orbital time frame, the whole planet will feel like this again, like it's supposed to, in just a couple of years. Only thing which troubles me is the network. It's down in this whole area. No phone access, no computer access, no nothing. Weird. That kind of thing just does not happen anymore. Tomorrow morning, first thing, I'm going to take a hike around and see what's up. Probably nothing. Just my mind looking for any excuse not to unwind. May sixteenth. Day three. The structure Max and I are calling obsidian has now grown from about one foot tall to over fifty feet. Either we're hallucinating on bad camping food, or we've stumbled upon the discovery of the century. It's maddening to be cut off from the rest of the world. What timing? Is obsidian causing it? But maybe it's for the best. I mean, gives us some time to figure this out. The part I can't get my mind around is the surface. It's like black ice or something. 
It's reflective, too. When I see myself there, it's like I'm somewhere... impossible. It's 3.15. Oh, don't worry, Lila. It's not the flu keeping me up. I just had this eerie dream, and I want you to hear it before you leave for the hill. There was this huge metal spider, and I was doing some kind of maintenance on it. Only, instead of working on the spider itself, I had to fix the whole universe surrounding it. Like the spider was a god or something, and my repairs were offerings. When I finished, the spider came to life, reared up. Suddenly I realized it was Ceres. That's when it pounced on me in a rage, and I tried to stop. <coughs> I'm worried about Ceres, Lila. So much power. I mean, what if something really went wrong? The machine control system is some of your finest engineering, but I want to make sure we can override it. Not a software interrupt that the AI code can modify, but a hardwired crossover switch, one that'll stop everything and revert to complete human control. <laughs> 